Hi, this is Rob with Tana Media. We're going to scan a negative film strip using the Epson Perfection V330 photo scanner. I'm going to scan this negative film strip using the full auto mode on the Epson Perfection V330 photo scanner. If you want to see how to scan a photo using the full auto mode, click here or in the link below. If you want to see an unboxing and overview of this scanner, click here or in the link below to see my unboxing video. I have my Epson Perfection correctly installed and the Epson Scan software is correctly installed on my computer. The Epson Perfection V330 can scan negative film strips and slides. If you have the Epson V33, you can only scan photos and documents. Next step is to remove this document mat. This document mat is used when scanning photos and documents. Pull up on this handle to remove the document mat. Use a soft cloth to clean the glass. I like using this microfiber cloth. This is the transparency unit window where the negative film strip will be scanned. Wipe it down with the soft cloth. And wipe down the document table to remove any dust and fingerprints. You should wipe off the negative film strip also. This is the film strip holder. The negative film strip will go here and you can also scan slides four at a time here. To open the film strip holder, pull up on this tab. Take the negative film strip, place it in the holder. Then close the holder. Now place the film holder in the scanner. There's a film strip symbol here, and on the back, a little knob. Align that knob in the slot in the scanner here. Turn on the scanner. Close the lid to the scanner. Open the Epson scan software. I'm going to use full auto mode. Click the Customize button. Use 300 dpi. If you plan to make enlargement prints, then use 600 dpi or higher. Specify the document type as Film. Select Dust Removal and Auto Photo Orientation. Click the File Save Setting button. I'm going to choose JPEG as my image format. You can choose where you want the scan images to be filed. Click OK. Close this window by clicking OK. Now click the big scan button. It's going to take a few minutes to completely scan this negative film strip. There are four negatives on this strip. When it's finished scanning, this window opens up. This is the file where I indicated where I wanted the scan images to be saved. I'll open up one of the images. There it is, a guy on a horse at night in the street. That's it. That's how to scan a negative film strip using the Epson Perfection V330 photo scanner. When you're finished with a film strip holder, you can store it here in the inside lid of the scanner. Then replace the document mat on top of the film strip holder. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.